Let's see, we're on camera. Oh, that's your camera. on the string is genius, don't get me wrong, it's the same, I think it's a sign that you're old. And no I offense, there's nothing wrong with being no, old. old. Run it's a sign that his wife doesn't know how to park the car. <laughs> I've never seen anyone with a tennis ball and string under the age of 60, let's put it that way. Are you excited for Mexican food? Yeah. Yeah? It's good. Let's see, we're on camera. Oh, that's your camera. Yeah. Oh my gosh, couldn't you find a smaller one? I know, it's too big, huh? <laughs> Oh my God. And it's magnetic. So look at this. Oh, then you can we stand can back and. Oh, ooh, I see. Ooh, Who pulls the trigger? It's already on. Oh, it's what? on. I'm so excited to have dinner with my what do, Jesse. What are you gonna have? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a burrito. Oh, okay. Okay. Getting a little crazy. Extra yeah. hot sauce. Probably not. <laughs> the littlest camera I ever saw. All right. See? Hello, how are you? You brought the family with you. So nice. Okay. They are on a first name basis. Yeah. You guys are a big deal. And, and, and nice to have you with this us. This is their son, our grandson. Hi, Hi there. And Sandy. Yeah, and there's Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, John. Hi, John. And you yeah. met Mark. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you met what's his name? And Jim. Hi, Jim. Come on in, everybody. Wow. Tell us a joke. Wow. It's quite a casual. Who told you a joke? You should tell us a joke. You see where you should be. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay. What do they call a cow who has just given birth? A. Call what? A cow who has just given birth. What do they call her? A. Decaffeinated. <laughs> okay. That's the best I can do. Okay. Got another margarita. That's funny. Well, that's you know a what? Good joke. <coughs> Grandma, you didn't know I was filming you. You what? I did. You know I was filming you. Yeah, can the camera? No, I didn't know. He did. I did some calls, and she says hello, and he says, "This is the Tucson Police Department, and I'm looking for Karen Zink. She's got some uh, out, outstanding tickets." This is Richard. Who's doing this. And Jamie says. My my mom right now she is so under stress. I mean she's like defending me. How old is she? <laughs> she was probably in junior high school. <laughs> he did the same thing to who, Lauren. But then did oh, you end up Lauren. talking to him or? Oh yeah, you know. Did the same is, thing he called like, Lauren. It's really it's things. really your your uh, uncle. Richard. <laughs> you know what? I'm surprised she didn't. Oh, did she not not notice his voice? She went to Starbucks where Lauren worked at the Bonds and went over and introduced himself as her parole officer. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, one one time they were driving, he was a bunch of youth kids, and they're traveling back from somewhere, and you know how they put plastic out in the fields to protect you know, oh, yes. strawberries and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so this little young girl wondered what it was. Well, that's where they're they go around. That's where they grow around. Rich is that. And she believed it. <laughs> well, they oh, it. there was a picture oh, of his, girl, Richard's right. high school picture. He he had a white uh, blue suit on, I think, and he looked his senior picture. They had it on the wall in the back of the house. Oh, yeah. And he had the yeah. pool table in By there. the pool table. So a couple of years later, he had some facial hair like you, and he didn't look the same. So and he came you looked in, really handsome, basically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with some with some junior Just high like kids you. from the church, and they're playing pool, and one kid says, "Who's that on the wall?" And Richard says, "That's my twin brother, but he's in prison right now, so we don't talk about him." <laughs> and my mom's in the room listening, and she's she says, so, so "Don't say anything because you're gonna hurt my mom's feelings." Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah, I do remember that. Where did where did Richard get this sense of humor? I don't know. Not for me. Right there. <laughs> well, I I did convince 
Richard and I went to look for a, a car at, a, at an auction. Oh. That'll work. Great. We went to a, a used car auction. Yeah. And he and uh, myself and, and I think my, Ricky was probably Ricky with was with us. Here. Well, anyway, they got tired of just listening to these cars go by and bid it, bid it on and on. So they went off somewhere. And, they did they came back a little bit later. And I, I told him, I said, you know, I bought a car where you guys were going. Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So I told him, I, was a, I don't know, some old Studebaker, and <laughs> he thought so. And so anyway, we got home and talked, talked to the girls and, and uh, mom. And he, he had convinced, or I had convinced everybody that we had bought a car. Well, where is it? Well, we don't get to pick it up until tomorrow after the, after the, we make the payment and all that. Right. You know? Paperwork. <laughs> I'm about the size of it. So it must be an inherited trick. Oh, know. the Fine, best huh? story <laughs> is when my sister won a Beatles album for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Diane, and she got a Beatles album. She was so excited. I don't know which one it was. And there was a cre- there was a skip in the album. So skip it, it, oh, it was yeah. an album, a 70, <laughs> 33. So it was a scratch. So Daddy says, "Don't worry, I'll take it back to Cal Stores for you." No, she, she took it back. Yeah, and they wouldn't. And they would oh, that's right. They it. wouldn't take they would it. They wouldn't exchange it. it. So she came home all crying, all upset because she couldn't get the album and it wasn't fair, and they didn't have a receipt or anything. So Dad says, "Don't worry, I'll do that for you." So the next day she comes home from school, and Daddy comes in, and he doesn't have the album with him. And she says, "What happened?" Will you tell? Oh, then I said, "You know, I went and went in and told him that they wouldn't, they wouldn't exchange it." So I said, "Okay, I'll just heck with it. I just." Broke over my head. No, you didn't. No. Oh, and my sister. Oh, but you told him that. When, no. I, when I told her that. She started she screaming. Said, oh, no, my That's my mouth. Oh, my gosh. She was so upset. Oh, that's oh. not the best story. It was with Manny's her the best and Janice. Oh, yeah, Manny's. Oh. oh, that one. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Got it? Got it. She Janet's Colson? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I am with Jan Colson. Oh, you're with Jan Colson. Uh, she, she's Janice Considine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, Considine. I came home, and one had mayonnaise in her hair. Diana? Or Diana? Or I don't know yeah. which one. Well, you got to tell the story the first part. They stopped at the drugstore on the way home from school, and there was a lady at the cosmetic counter, and she said, if you put mayonnaise in your hair, and shampoo it in, it'll keep your hair from getting dry, and if you take oatmeal and cr- smear it on your face and let it get hard, it'll dry out all your zits. Oh, so they came sense, home sir. and started to do it. Yeah, who they? D- D- Diane, Diane and her friends, friends yeah. so they're upstairs too, doing right? this with this no. stuff all over their face and their hair, and my mom's laughing, and daddy says, what's so funny, and she starts to tell them that they had stopped, and this woman told them this stuff and this <coughs> stuff, okay. <coughs> So, so then, so then at the dinner table, I started laughing. I told mom, I said, play along. So I, I started laughing. She says, what are you laughing about? I said, well, I was I stopped at the right aid or whatever. It's called the, 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 the same drug The same drug store. There you go. Same Pleasure drug store. Pleasure meeting all of you. Yeah, exactly. Thank Thank you. Have a wonderful yeah. evening. So, uh, and a great well. week. And a Thank happy you. New and a happy new year. Thank you. So, <laughs> some lady at this drug yes. store convinced two young girls to put mayonnaise in her hair and, 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 and uh, oatmeal oh, yes. in her face. And it says that she was just laughing all over the place to her and the other lady in the pharmacy. And, so. <laughs> and then didn't you say something like the truth of the matter is is your hair's going to fall out or it's oh, going to... No. And yeah. something I like that. Or the it gives you more zits. She yeah. starts crying because she <laughs> thought she had been... <laughs> she she been had. <laughs> oh, they're both... <laughs> She doesn't yeah. tell you about know, the jokes that she did for us, though. Which, what about the men? What, what, April what? Fool's joke with the locks. Mm. With the what? We used to put the menu on the refrigerator, and um, you were allowed we to always eat. we were only allowed to eat two lunches, hot lunches a month, because it was expensive. It was twenty-five yeah, cents. Cool. Twenty-five <laughs> cents. And so we always chose the fried chicken. Me and Richie always liked the fried chicken because that was the one that Belle made the best. I think her name was Belle, the lady <laughs> after you. So we come home, it was April 1st, we come downstairs and mom has made our lunches. Oh, we can't take our lunch. You said we could buy our lunches chicken, fried chicken day. Because my mom never fried chicken. She baked chicken, so it was because a big fried treat. chicken's not good for you. Right. It was a real treat. So she said, oh, I'm so sorry, I just, I forgot. You'll have to take your lunches. You don't have time. Here. So I don't have change anyway, so she gives us each our lunch. So we're all bummed out. So we, lunchtime comes and we go into the cafeteria. And we open up our lunch, brown lunch bags, and inside 
there was she had taken wooden blocks and she had scotch taped a, a quarter and a dime, 35 cents, huh? on the two blocks with a little note that said, April, April Fool's Love Mom. <laughs> But and then so you but had to get all the way back. And then we had to get in line. We were so excited. They were excited, out of fried chicken before they got Yeah, and then good. one time when Richard was in high school, some kid kept stealing his lunch. And I was so mad because all he had to do was go down and they'd give him a free one. So one day I got some dog food and I put a bunch of hot sauce in it and everything and made a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this. I do. <laughs> so the kid stole his lunch. It never happened again. <laughs> Did the kid eat Dog it? Dog food. Yeah. Wow. He stole it, but I don't know how far he got it. Oh, and there was two, you made a sandwich with two things? Well, I gave it to well, him. Well, I, I always, I, I'd go to the bank, and I, I would I would go to the bank, and while I'm driving, I'd eat half the yeah. sandwich while I'm driving. <laughs> and so, I... <laughs> so I, the whole, I, so I, I put I, a I, note I, in one half that said April Fool's. And, uh, and, and, this, and this is for people who can't brush between meals. Yeah, this is <laughs> so he ate the I ate, ate half of the other the other half, which is about four. <laughs> and he says, I was burping toothpaste. Have bur- burping toothpaste all afternoon. Was <laughs> burping toothpaste? <laughs> he ate the whole thing. No, I didn't eat the whole thing. <laughs> You know, I, I knew you would eat anything she made, but I, I still do. idea that it was no, <laughs> that trusting that you're eating toothpaste sandwiches. <laughs> I, he was mad, though. I was toothpaste. Well, well, I'll tell you when I pulled on I'll tell you when I pulled on It was an April Fool's Day uh, at work. We were in a warehouse. That's where we worked in the head offices of Rockland. That the was guy. one of your first jobs. So yeah, one of my first jobs. He was an engineer. Uh, uh, he was gone the next day. Threw off trailer. Anyway, there, a little portion of this warehouse was just offices where we had our tables and drafting tables right. and all that. Well, anyway, I stayed late that night, the night before. And so I, I found out that some guy had some old boots and old pants at the we worked out in the shop. Yeah. So I went in the women's room, propped them up. <laughs> the women's room? Yeah, yeah, in the women's room. Propped them behind, behind the toilet, propped up these boots and, and the, draped the, the, the uh, trousers over them. And then I put a big sign up there, April Fools. And then I shut the door. Thinking the next morning, the secretary will come in. Yeah. But during the night, the guard comes in. And he sees these boots in a woman's restroom. He draws his gun and he kicks the door open. <laughs> I didn't admit to that one. <laughs> so when he, to- when he told you, did you did you just you like, like act wow, surprised? That was, that was, wow, that was bad. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I, I never heard that. that story, Daddy. Either. <laughs> That was, April, April that was just before they fired him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, here's another April Fool's joke that my mama did. We lived on Roger Court in Pico Rivera. I don't know. And, and it was a cul-de-sac. <laughs> and behind the cul-de-sac, there was a big vacant lot. And there was always discussion. What are they going to do with that vacant lot? Are they going to build housing units? Are they going to make it into a park? What are they, they going to do? Yeah, yeah, with this big vacant lot. So my mom somehow got a piece of paper from the Pico Rivera City City I'm Chamber of Commerce or something. Yeah. And she typed Letterhead? Up, yes. And she typed up a letter saying that um, as of a such and such a date, it was passed by the city of council or whatever, that a, a dog, an SPCA dog pound was going to be put back there. And she posts this sign. She puts it up. It was, a, it was on a Friday afternoon, like about 4 o'clock, because the office is... And she posts it. On one of the light, pa- you don't remember this, That's on this light post, okay. all the neighbors are coming out, <laughs> screaming, John Armenta was cussing, she, Eddie, Eddie Beach's daddy, what was his name? Jerry. Oh, they were livid. They were out there, everyone screaming, I'm going to call the no, city, and of course by then it was too late, <laughs> the city was closed. <laughs> My mom had to come I out remember confess doing the sign, but I don't because remember everybody, everybody was upset, and my mom had to confess that she had done it as a joke. <laughs> Do it yeah. by fireworks. Oh yeah. That? Yes. <laughs> I remember that. And tell it. Well, except except there's one family didn't. They, they Only they one family decided not to. And they were mad that everyone. No, no. 
They're going to fire the fireworks out. out of the they were chipping street. in on the fireworks. Everybody chipped yeah. in. Yeah. The big yeah. display. So they went out and they bought the fireworks. When it come, come time to play, this guy who didn't contribute, his girl, his, his girl came out. He's sitting there watching too. Right. And when this one. Was Armenta, it John Armenter or was it? I think it was Armenter. It was the Armenter. Yeah. Was you can't be out here. You here. can't stay out here. Your dad didn't uh, contribute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got to buy a ticket. Right? Yeah. I don't know. One time, <laughs> Stan Hazel, or what was Hazeloff? What was his name? Stan. Dan? No, Ken. that was the kid, wasn't it? Ken. Ken. Ken, Ken Hazeloff. He would have John Armenta over, and he had made some beef jerky. Oh, yeah. And they were sitting there talking and munching, and, he, and finally uh, John Armenta says, this is really good. What, what is it? And he says, I don't know. He said, I found it out on the curb. He did. Watch that moment. I know. I mean, we need to go, huh? Yeah. They're going to be able to watch this. Good to see you. Have fun. Play those games. Oh, yeah, we will. Be the best person I will. I will. But I'll have fun. I'll car, and we start backing out of the driveway, and here's Janet at the window looking out. We forgot Janet. We're going <laughs> how old is she? I don't know. She must have been, I don't know, how old, five, how old was she? I don't know. I don't know. Seven well, or eight? I was younger, so <laughs> I've only heard the story. You didn't forget me. You forgot her. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll just do the same thing right yeah, now. Yeah, we'll do the same thing now. She's in the bathroom. <coughs> Was she sitting in the back? Mom, did you get left one time? Oh, before? oh yes. <laughs> I never left it down. What happened? I've been, I've been uh, that's why I'm so screwed up today, because I'm so Oh, wow. Started. Man. <coughs> I didn't hurt it. <coughs> did we really see Janet get in? Yeah, she's here. Okay. Yeah. Didn't want to leave her the second time. <laughs>